At the Africa Aerospace and Defense AAD, 2024 event, Denel marked its return to the defense exhibition stage with the introduction of the RG-41 GT-7, a cutting-edge integration of the RG-41 eight-wheeled combat vehicle and a modified G-7 105mm gun. This powerful combination positions the RG-41 GT-7 as a versatile self-propelled artillery system, potentially revolutionizing fire support for mechanized and motorized infantry units. The RG-41 platform has a storied history rooted in Project Hofeister, where it was initially proposed as Denel's alternative to the Finnish Patria platform, which ultimately evolved into the South African Army's Badger 8x8. As Denel sought to compete with the limited selection of eight-wheeled infantry fighting vehicles available at the time, the RG-41 was developed and rigorously tested, including summer trials in the UAE. However, despite its successful performance, the UAE's shifting requirements led to the adoption of the RG-35 instead. As manufacturing delays plagued the Patria-slash-Badger system, Denel proposed the RG-41 as a complementary option for Project Hofeister. However, the pandemic temporarily stalled the vehicle's marketing efforts, particularly in the Middle Eastern defense market. Denel capitalized on this period to equip the RG-41 with advanced systems, including the Tactical Remote Turret, TRT, which was tested with both 20mm and 30mm cannon variants. During shooting trials at the Al-Camp Pan Test Range, Denel identified an opportunity to integrate a 105mm gun, based on the G7 105mm LEO towed howitzer, into the RG-41. This led to the creation of the GT-7 gun and the T-7 turret, a 3,750kg platform designed for the RG-41. While the turret is currently manned during trials, future iterations aim to make it fully unmanned. The RG-41 GT-7 can accommodate 11 personnel, including a driver, vehicle commander, gunner, section commander, and seven section crew members. The seating and safety systems are designed with crew survivability in mind, a hallmark of the RG-41's engineering. The RG-41 boasts comprehensive protection capabilities, with ballistic armor conforming to Stanag 4569 Level 2, upgradable to Level 4 or 5. The vehicle offers mine protection up to Stanag 4569 Level 4A slash 3B standards, with potential for higher level upgrades. While IED protection specifics remain undisclosed, the RG-41's V-shaped hull and hardened armored shell provide formidable defense against landmines and explosives. With the ability to add wire mesh for defense against RPGs, the RG-41's modular armor design allows for adaptability in counterinsurgency and conventional warfare. The vehicle's primary design focus is crew survivability, ensuring occupants remain protected even if the vehicle sustains significant damage. The RG-41 GT-7's primary weapon, the G7 105mm gun, delivers artillery-level firepower within a mobile platform. With a maximum range of 30 kilometers using base bleed rounds, the G7 can deliver effects comparable to those of a 155mm shell, thanks to rainmetal Denel munitions, RDM, advanced ammunition development. The ammunition options include high explosive, preformed fragmentation, smoke, illuminating, and more. In direct fire mode, the system can engage targets at ranges between 500 to 2,000 meters. The RG-41 GT-7 incorporates an advanced inertial navigation unit, INU, linked to the gun control unit, GCU, enabling automatic gun laying with hydraulic elevation and traverse drives. The fully automatic ammunition handling system ensures rapid target engagement, although manual loading remains an option for redundancy. The RG-41 GT-7 has impressive dimensions and performance capabilities. With a length of 7,780 mm, width of 2,800 mm, and height of 2,380 mm, the vehicle is designed for both maneuverability and stability in challenging environments. Its wheelbase and ground clearance provide excellent off-road capabilities, while the vehicle's approach and departure angles allow it to tackle difficult terrain. Powered by a Deutz Model 2015 TCD V6 engine, the RG-41 produces 390 kilowatts and 2,130 newton meters of torque, enabling it to reach speeds of up to 100 kilometers per hour and navigate grades of up to 70%. The ZF5 HP902 transmission system ensures smooth power delivery with a 5-speed configuration and 2-speed drop-down capability. The RG-41 suspension system is independent, utilizing hydropneumatic struts and hydraulic shock absorbers for a smooth ride, even in rough conditions. The braking system includes pneumatic disc brakes with ABS, 
ensuring responsive and safe handling. While the RG41 GT7 remains in the prototype stage, its potential as a mobile self-propelled artillery system is clear. Designed for integration into mechanized battalions, the system offers a blend of firepower, mobility, and protection that few other platforms can match. As Denel continues its development efforts, the RG-41 GT-7 could soon serve as a critical asset for defense forces seeking versatile, cost-effective artillery support. Denel's renewed focus under the South African Department of Defense places the RG-41 GT-7 at the forefront of the company's offerings. With its combination of the RG-41's proven platform and the advanced G7-105mm gun, the RG-41 GT-7 is set to redefine mobile artillery capabilities in modern warfare.